What is going on friends? We are back and we got Smog to us finals between Porsche and Bengay aka Kring. Bro, Bengay's team looks fire. Holy. So this is some trapper action. He really loves his trappers. I th you think it's like eject button? Nine tails? Because I've heard about that. Bro, that magnet zone looking nice and useless. Oh god, magnet zone would only beat the Ladi and like. <laughs> you know what does this. It's so I assume Sh Shadow Talk is Shadow Tech is allowed in this, yeah. I haven't played Black and whatever, but I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, Porsche team looks kinda cool, but I don't know if you can win this matchup. Yeah, Dagi traps the Tita in the zone and. Does it though? Okay. Bro, I swear to god, Benge has a Dougie fetish. Okay, well, how can you prevent that? Did that the Tita gets trapped? You can get you can get rocks up and try to keep them up, but but Pasha has a spin blocker. I mean, no, sorry, that doesn't make sense. Um, if Pasha keeps rocks up, the Doug Sash won't be in, and it's trapped. Does this have taunt and outspeed the Wobble Fed? Oh yeah, it does have taunt. You're right. I don't know if they run taunt, will always book cover and attacking move. I've seen just two attacks without taunt. But yeah, I hope he has taunt in this scenario. There was a global message on main telling us that this was going on. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be watching this live. There's only 285 online at the moment. And l look at the look at the number of users. There's like Jesus. It Everyone's changes there. so much, and like it goes up and down. I turn off the time. I doesn't take the. It doesn't take the time away. Dude, I wouldn't either. Yeah, of course, not in finals. That would be scum. Yeah, that's a taunt. Yeah, you had to make the taunt play. Wonder what set this Nine Tails is. Will always, maybe? I don't know what they run. I don't play black and white. Like, since he has the double treble, I assume it could be the eject button. I mean, this looks like some, like it looks lovely heat or like cool, but uh, I kind of hate up. trapping like a night oh, shield. Yeah, trapping <laughs> what the heck, nightshade? I don't think that's standard. I've never seen that. <laughs> On this specific, mo like on Jenison and black and white. So Volcarona. I don't think Pasha would go tar. They, they carry bug buzz, right? I know, has, I know he has a doggy anyway. Like, can carry a Giga. It could carry HP Ice. It could carry. Hurricane, if it's on rain. Yeah, on rain, carry. but in the sun, I don't think it's hurricane. And I've seen uh, HP water in the rain too. Yeah. There. So it's normally just a one, a, a three of either HP, Giga, Fire Blast. Yeah, this is kind of hard because if you go Garchomp and you get HP Ice. Yeah, but if you go T Tar, you risk either Bug Buzz or the. I don't think you have Bug Buzz because you have T Tar. But if you go Tar, you risk the double. Yeah, Dagger, you mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the double the duck. A dope mid ground play would be hard wob. 
easy ass that I'm recording. I'm not on my own. I can talk. Moderated shit was sad. Oh wow. What is this? One guy reconnects, the other guy disconnects. What the heck is going on? Like Porsche has to get like a lot of plays correct here, this is tough with all these trappers. Trappers make for an interesting dynamic, as BKC uh, said. Yeah, because I love the, I love the semifinals yeah. game where it like the way you, yeah it affects the way you play around certain mons. Yeah, exactly. You always have the mon in the back, so you have to fear that. You have to fear that you can't go Titar because you yet you have to fear that he might go. He might go Doug. Like in semifinals, Porsche Giga drained, predicting a double into Dougie. I think Giga drained the full Corona. If I recall correctly. As he just, so I think the Volk is dead if he pursues here. And I think if the Volk dies, this game ends. So the Skarmory is gonna be spikes, I assume, because he has a spin blocker, so it's gonna be Hazard stack. Rocks on. I think I would have doubled the wob there. Rocks on one of these three months. I don't know which one has rocks. Ooh, nice. Ooh, better than nothing. Ooh, X. 30% flame body. Well, Tita's gone. He was sash doggy when he goes hard into it, obviously. Yeah, okay, he gets up the rocks. He's bulky I was about to say that. Pursuit didn't do much. It was not banded damage. Pasha was a spin blocker too. Oh, he misclicked? Oh, I meant to stealth for. I was about to say. Uh... So he's gonna go. Mm, I mean, he still has to attack the Sash and Tag, so he can get up his rocks here with Dougie anyway. No matter what he goes out into. Man, I hate in like these hype ass games when people DC. And I don't think that like Porsche can basically never click anything with Magnezone if it's in other than Flash can. But like the the thing is, Wobbuffet beats it anyway. That's another trapper. Wobbuffet can potentially trap multiple things. I guess too. he can volt switch out on that, but it will risk again that you can go into Excadrill or Dougie on a volt switch. Yeah, I don't know why they linked this on main because so many people joined and like, <laughs> like the they're lagging. I don't know if Smoktus can handle this. Yeah. I don't know why there's so many people playing random battles. I don't get it. Holy shit. 450? Everyone's... It's not even that much. Like, I think. I think it uh, was the finals, there were like more. Yeah, but look, everyone is playing a game. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they think this is a good idea. Like. <laughs> Jesus, the game just keeps. I think it's gonna be one true, one true like and just pass me his team. Okay, nice. I think it's gonna be yeah, pretty we... hard for. It was Fairy Z shift gear. Oh really, Fairy Z without Flurkin? Okay, that's interesting. And it was oh, it was Smackdown Stealth Rock Tox. What was the last move to be cut out? Smackdown Stealth Rock Tox. 
Yeah, I understand that, but I thought you said a fourth move too. Uh, Smackdown, Stealth Rock, Toxic, Earthquake? Oh yeah, obviously. And he was Ice Fang Gera. That's so sweet text, Gera does. Yeah. Okay, so, if we are talking about the Ben Gay game, I will probably upload that, like, maybe 12 hours after this, maybe 14 on the next day. Like, Ben Gay played for World Cup just before this. So, Thalgi, yeah, I don't know if they carry, like, Batombis or U-turn in this for momentum. But I think he just attacks to bring this to the Sash, because he might just get up the rocks. If Porsche has to win, like the Porsche is like, like usually people or what people would say before the game is that Porsche is the favorite in black and white, right? But in the other two tiers, I don't know at all. Because if Benge wins black and white, he already has an advantage, and he's like they're both pretty good at the other tiers. But I think it, it's gonna be in Benge's favor if he wins black and white to win the overall thing. But yeah, I wanted Porsche to win, so we will see. Well, people are still starting battles. War can I not stop the? Can I not like set it so that they can start battles? Here yeah, goes Warbuffet. So, if this has like nasty plot, it can prevent from like get out That's of there. Ooh, and Ooh, the Warbuffet. Nice there. play. He encored. Okay. I mean, if he baton passed out, I don't think encore would have worked. But what is he gonna be jump as soon as the thing? Ooh, Ooh it's custab, so the celebi goes down. Damn, this is gonna be over pretty soon. That was a nice. Stop laddering! <laughs> oh my god, everyone is laddering. Oh wow, I don't know, didn't know they carry that. Is that Will Wisp? Toxic is pretty nice, so. Fires. How can Porsche win? I don't think he can. SD Chomp. Yeah, but that still gets checked by Ladi and. Hmm. Wait, the Volk yes, is basically Brav. dead to rock, so I did not think about that. But Fscarm beats the Wadi. Hmm. I hope they play Sun Moon next. Yeah, I guess Porsche has, still has a, has a chance, like, I just don't know black and white. <laughs> if it wasn't smoked as fine as I wouldn't be recording, like. Or like, just smoke this in general, I like to bring Ooh. the black and white game. Balloon is pretty nice. It's, it's a bunch, yep, and it's dead. Good lord. So Dougie gets a kill here. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the Scarf Outrage switch in? I mean, the switch in doesn't exist, but the Dougie still has a sash. Okay. So, so if he's like, if he's locked into Outrage, the Ladi can revenge it if it's Scarf Ladi. He can also hit himself in Confusion. Because the Dougie will have a Sash Even still. Even don't exist. Yeah, don't close I, think Pasha, I think Pasha does win this. Although, if it's not Scarf Chomp, and that's HP Ice Quiver Volt, the game ends right here. Oh no, because the Scarf has sturdy. Well, I think it has to be Scarf Chomp. Because what else is a speed control? I assume the Scarf is gonna be the standard set Spikes Roost Whirlwind. Brave Bird? Because, like, you have the Spin and Blacker, you have Rocks on Tar, you have Spikes on this, you can Whirlwind around. You have the Magnus on. You have the Magnus on to get rid of opposing Scarf. 
kung ano yung meaning pa. Yeah, he, he knows that Benga likes um, duck chairs. We had an abalone on this. And people are still spamming games. Okay, crane giant. He's back, I guess. Bro, can they just like uh, turn battles off? And My question is if HPS kills the Garchomp from full. Because HPS is strong, I'll cut the recruit. I don't think it does. Volcarona. Oh, he goes lot. Oh, okay, we go to game if it's happening then. If they've started again. And it's sub. Is it sub command? Ooh. Did he will win? He spiked for us, I think now he can win. Oh, he's getting up all the layers first, wow. Okay, that did That's a, a good plan. That did a I think I would panic and just click the whirlwind. Yeah. You can roost or... Break in another command, he can whirlwind here. Yeah, if he does get that correct. But yeah, roost is fine too. This is gonna do like... 40-ish. That was exactly what you wanted. I had hard, hard Garchomp here. So you can get the Brocks with the doggy. I think hard Garchomp wins. Ooh. No, that sucks so I much. I mean, the Scuff Dragon does win anyway. I think it might be in sucker range if this is oh. sucker. No, it's reversal, I think. Oh, Scarf yeah. Outrage. So he can still hit himself here if he gets a two turn. Oh, he can also get the burn. Uh, ooh. I mean, the laddie probably lifts this now. He's confused and burned. So he gets a two turn. I think he. What is he gonna do? Last one, laddie can't get wounded. Um, you just spam Brave Bird till you die. Okay. If he Ooh. didn't, oh, taunt. Yup, that's game. If he didn't get burned, he might have uh, just missed the outrage. This gets stalled out of Dragon Pulses. I'm pretty sure. Is Dragon Pulse. If Dragon Pulse is the only attacking move, does it have a second one? Is my question. It might have some. So. Oh, you think it's Roost? I think last, yeah, I think last move is Roost. Because I seem sub in with two attacks before. There's only 11. There's going to be eight Dragon Pulses. Out. And then there's going to be yeah, five. Yeah, if it, Dragon Pulse is the only attack, I think Porsche wins. Yeah, Roos is the correct play. Oh, ouch. I mean, he's still kind of healthy, but if he gets multiple just, crits, it's going to be bad. Uh, just start skipping turns. You're behind. Okay, okay. Just skip to end, yeah. Yeah. He only has five dragon pulses left, and he's gonna be at. Ooh, he just hard dragon pulse there. Okay, he has only only four left. But if he crit there, <laughs> I think it would have been over. Yeah, crit can still win here. Ooh, that's. And it's over. The Lottie's only has one more dragon pulse. So yeah, Pasha clutches it out. Okay, nice. I did not expect Taunt Skarm. Okay, all. if you, um... I probably, really cool. probably upload the entire final uh, thing in one video. Yeah, we'll just... That was a really cool game. I... I, I <laughs> don't like Black White and I enjoyed it. Yeah, like... I just don't know too much what's going on at one point. I thought Benge won. Yeah, I thought Benge won too. Yeah, I guess we'll pause it and be right back. With Black White or Auras. Uh, Auras <laughs> or Sun Moon. Get back again with Auras. Oh. Oh, that's interesting because usually Benge brings the Kuhn. But this time the Kuhn is on the other side. So that's Mega Lari. 
probably. I love Pasho's team. I love the way his team yeah. is nice and fat. This is like more bulky offense balance from Ben getting like semi stall from Pasho. Oh, I love. I'm gonna ask him for that. <laughs> that team looks fucking hot. If there's just battles in the chat, I don't know if it's even worth to record the chat. Might as well. <laughs> Stop PMing me and challenge me to random battles. Just do block PMs and block challenges. Exactly. Well, I can't get over how aesthetically appealing Pasha's team. So what is that? It, ooh, what if that's SD pass Gliscor? SD pass into Metagross. Didn't so and use that versus him in semis. Someone is you have. Someone has used it before. Yeah, like if the if the Metagross has hammer arm and gets a SD passed, I don't see the counterplay. Hmm. Do you think he's just magic out club? If it's not SD pass, everything on Bengay's team just. I think he's magic out clever, but he. Right, Mega is a good enough check for Manaphy. So that you can. You don't have to run anywhere. And Ferrothorn is also a really good check to Manaphy. Unless it's HP fire. I'm just. Bro. The Torn. I think that fifth death tank on AV Torn. And works. Works Heatran. Oh, is it Scarf? It could be Scarf Lady. So he gets the lead up. correct, gets up. But he just off picked him when he didn't want to play around that I can understand. But if he's like SD pass, he can try to attempt to pass immediately. He just set up wrong, he didn't it's care. Not SD pass. Or he might have just feared the whirlwind. Hmm. He didn't want to reveal any set yet. Maybe. Into Clef on a Draco. So this is either. Like if this is live warp, I don't know where his where his speed control is at. I mean, technically it can be scarf trend, but on this team I think it's rocks. There's the T wave clefed, <laughs> showing why it's broken and aura is like T wave being 100% accurate and like you basically outspeed everything if you T wave something like they nerfed it now, but back in aura you outsped like so much clefable. Oh, if he had Thup, he could have gone for it there. Maybe he doesn't have it. Daddy got burned. Doesn't he sleep something here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they carry HP fire, right, for, for Feral. He went to Ladi because he didn't want to let him. They sometimes run Bolt Beam Ladi, so I don't think the Glisco is going to be staying in here. Or double the coon, yeah. Coon predicting uh, the trend? Predicting trend. Mm -hmm. I how Pasha was playing. Mm -hmm. And he disconnected <sighs> again. Let me just uh, check real quick if the Clefable was. Bro, can people. uh... I don't think the Clefable came in on rocks yet. So, uh, but I assume it's just gonna be Magic Guard. Yeah, Ladi makes a lot of sense Mega on this team, because that Y would be a big threat otherwise. And you just get Para there, the T-Way showing. Best move in the game. Is this Vink here? If it's win? I yeah. think, I think they just might be Rest mm. and... I mean, the Toxic Miss, if he doesn't have Sub, he has Rest. So I don't know how much Toxic Miss will matter. So he doesn't want to let this Kun knocked off, so he gives Mega Ladi every time on this. He's gonna Mega and Bruce here, I think. Is this, as he said, and did you sleep out of? It's short. Hmm. What does he even go to here? Because he trying to keeps taking chip damage from rocks. 
This is Ice Beam and wakes up here. Like his team Ooh. would maybe like. Does he have Rowan? Does he have Rowan? I think he has Rowan. Yeah. Pasha wins it. Probably, but I don't want to speak to someone. 100%. Uh, in my opinion, he can't break in this semi, so. We didn't even have. Yeah, we didn't even see Sun and Moon yet. I kind of wanted to see that. I'm just. <laughs> well, I see you can see Bengay bring Duck Trio. <laughs> I mean, I'm just surprised that he didn't bring a Duck Trio in this game, like, because the last time he brought it even in Aura. Bengay looks up. No, I would just be interested in how Porsche would prep for banking Sun and Moon. Cause like, I would expect... I probably said it earlier already, I would expect this the other way around, that Bengay would have a team like this and Porsche would have a team like this. How do you even prep for Bengay though? Yeah, you can't like... Like he doesn't always bring stall or semi stall, like he can also he can God. play like... And bring dot fucking standard like he brought against Pasho for the ORS game that or he could bring fucking ducky weird shit. Well So Mega Meta Growth, um I think he's just gonna go Feral Thorn here. This says hammer arm gets the play correct here, that could be nice. Did he just say random ladders or does this mean anything? Might be random ladders because he's mad that he keeps disconnecting, I don't know. Oh wow. I don't think this was assault vest if that killed. Maybe that was life orb torn. What happened? The torn just died oh to a discharge, god. he switched out. No, no, but he said, oh my god. Yeah, he, he didn't expect him to make that play. I think he predicted the Feral Thorn, he probably has Heat Wave on the Torn. So he was Scarfly and the Feral Thorn is now crippled. He can Leech predict in the Heat Run or the Gliscor. But he does Spike instead, I think. I mean, Spike makes sense, but I might have Leeched. Because if you have a Tom Pass, the least you'd get also passed. I think that's how it works. If the Kuhn is faster, he gets a slow BP, but the Glisco seems to be faster. And he has Roarn as well. So this makes a lot of sense because he has um, Rocks and Spikes. I think he brought the same strategy game 1 where he also had Rocks and Spikes and Whirlwind on Skarmory. He just loses Leftovers. Mm, leftovers are still nice on Kuhn. But he didn't want to be in with a lot, he probably that is asleep and give like the Glisco a free setup opportunity. Even though he could have still prevented that after. But now he goes into Lari anyway, so he's in with Lari vs Glisco. I thought he wanted to prevent this situation. And so do you slack off breaking the earthquake or do you will and put it in the baton pass is the question. Okay, just will and Understandable that you don't want to risk that. Because if you slack off and the. He gets like a pass into. Plus to Metagross. He just has to get like. One flinch and the game could be over. Okay, he he'd stealth operating the defog, so rocks go back up. Spikes are gone. But rocks are also gone on Porsche's side. So he goes in the Feral Zone. I don't know. I don't think this is Hammer Arm because he doubled out earlier. Yeah. Is he gonna leech seed here? Oh, he gets a freeze. Oh well. Why am I recording the chat if there's no one talking about the game? There's just kids spamming. Oh, there's mod chat said. Yeah, okay, I'll just not record the chat then. My bad. Should have realized this earlier. That they said mod chat. I completely <laughs> blanked out there. 
thought that Bengay that Bengay won black white. Yeah. Like not everything of Smox is just cancer, but I've always used to wild. Like some people give like <laughs> interesting that info. Feeling you, that feeling when you tell your girl you're horny and then she Yeah, I didn't see <laughs> what you said because you well uh, you cut out. I said that feeling that feeling when you tell your girl you're horny and she's like, okay, have fun. <laughs> You hit that, you hit the GG and you get out of there. So, yeah. Bro, this guy got ruined is... out again, he's gonna slack off. Or, wow, he switched. So he just wanted to get iron box <laughs> damage? This game hella over. Doc, you're way behind, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Ruined again, I assume, here. Tangos comes in. Very manly. Hedron's gonna get some lefties, but Hedron is super low. Laddie wakes up. I don't, my I don't I know what permanent is. And this is a they toxic. I'm wondering if this Laddie had like refresh. I don't think it had. Bear. Bear toxic. Now, this is definitely annoying. I mean, there was it's some. Rest. It's rest, calm mind, scald roar. Oh, the Suicune. I'm just so used to recording this month this shit. Mm -hmm. He keeps making it to finals only to get completely obliterated. Did not work. So he's just gonna go back Ladi on the Tangos always, I assume. Or goes Pharaoh instead. So I assume he's gonna try to get up his rocks. I'm probably like 500 turns behind, but it's fine with me. Burma's link. So Kuhn is gonna go for a rest or calm mind. Of oh, Skulls, wow. I'm really bad at predicting these turns. <laughs> Sometimes. He okay, rests up on the SD question mark or roost? SD. Oh, it was Baton Pass. Oh, he sleep talked the Skull. Oh. Ah. Wow. Mad Ross gets in, does it flinch? Wow. Does he pull a sleep talk something? He gets flinch. Wow. And the hippo is gonna take a ton. Yeah, if he gets flinch on the hippo. Oof. Is the hippo even at full? Is... Yeah, I don't know if it's Bro, over yet. Like, I, I, was just, I was just talking about Bengay losing in yeah. finals, but hold up. Like, I was hold behind. Up. I didn't know what was happening. I was just trying to catch him. Bro, Bengay is. Bengay played this so well. I mean, I thought the entire time it was BP, but he just didn't reveal a predicting moment the entire time, yeah. So Zen had it's the question, do you go for Ice Punch? No, you probably go for Zen Hat, but Flinch, right? Uh, well, it depends if Ice Punch kills. Mm, I don't think it does. It's a hippo. It Bro, usually... plus four Gliscor EQ did half. There's no way Ice Punch kills. Yeah. Oh, he went Gliscor. Yeah, he yeah, was forced to EQ there pretty much. Plus the Metagross, he's gonna roost up here. I mean, this Hippo can't touch him, so he can technically just SD. I think the Kuhn... I don't know if the What Kuhn... does switching out... What does switching out accomplish, though? Switching out what? The, the Metagross? Oh, the Metagross. You think he should've gone for the flinch? I mean... I don't, don't want to question Bengay's thought process. Yeah, he was definitely in range from Earthquake. Doesn't this just get thunder uh, T waved and then you lose? Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's gonna go back into Gliscor. But if it's both beam, that doesn't, doesn't doesn't last Mon doesn't last Mon Gliscor. No, it can't. It, it's EQ. It can't touch mm, that. Don't want to take move. Can't touch the Lodi. So, so we can go down. He goes Tang. As I'd imagine, he double, not in. He doubles in his app, takes seventy one, and he sleeps the. Oh my god! Did he he roost? sleeps his app. Probably just roosted here. Oh, he heat wave. That is f a lot. He did fifteen million. Did you double? To meta? Yup. I mean, Metagross doesn't kill this if he has. 
I'm 70. I, I don't know if he has T wave. Does he have mash? And bang ADCs. Um, mash or thunder punch or hammer arm? Nah, he doesn't have hammer arm the way he played it. Mash or thunder punch. <laughs> Benge is on West. Easy says he's gay and he's on. Dennis, Dennis is funny. Yeah, you cut out again. I just understand half of it. Dennis, Dennis said Benge is on West. Just, Easy says he's gay and he's on West. Yeah, they're both on West. He's just. And then joking, he said coincidence. <laughs> Oh, these games get you so hype and Yeah. Definitely knowing I pause it or something. I'm in round three of circuit and if I Okay, so he came back. I'm not sure if Porsche will just sack off his clef here. But yeah, Porsche was in um Smoked to his 22 finals and he made it to finals again. Last time I think he lost to BKC, right? I think Porsche also likes. Yeah, he likes DVP a lot. And DVP wasn't in this this year for Smoked to, so he was kinda. I th he said it was kinda hard for him to qualify because DVP wasn't in it. I think in the Sun and Moon he didn't make in Sun and Moon in the regular season he didn't make that many points. Yeah, so my internet died, guys, and we will just see what happened. The game ended already. We are just rewatching now. We were on the turn where it was Metagross versus Clefable, which was a turn sixty-four. Yeah, I think we were on this turn, correct? So, what happened here? Did he just sack his calf? He was just willing to sack his calf. Maybe the Metagross doesn't have Meteor Mesh, that's an option. And the Clefable reveals Calm Mind, so... Toxic obviously doesn't matter, because it's Magic Guard Clef, right? I assume this Clefable just wins the game now. Because, like, she doesn't have anything to stop it. He's just gonna calm it up to plus six. Yeah, the way he didn't go for mesh is, just means he doesn't have mesh on his Metagross, I think. And he didn't want to let this um, Metagross get T wave, which is understandable why he switched out. So it's just beating this heat turn down, basically. He turns still has leftovers. So maybe I would have, um, yeah, now he decides to calm it up more. Yeah, he even gets paralyzed there, it shouldn't matter, I mean, Clefable just brings the game home now, pretty much. He has Protect to get more health back on this. Does he have enough Moonblast is the question, because, yeah, I can, un oh, I can understand why he Moonblasted the Heatran earlier. Because if the Heatran gets too many leftovers back... Maybe he doesn't have enough moonless to beat this, but he should be like he should. I think he should have come up the plus six first, but I'm not sure. Like he still has eighteen moonblasts. So this is gonna do. He gets power. That's gonna do like fifteen, maybe. Yeah, that's seventeen. Okay. Yeah, I'm basically can't call anymore. I have, I'm on really slow internet now. This happens. You guys should know by now, like, I've talked about it in other videos. That my net just dies sometimes, my fast net at like 1 or 2 a.m. It's 1 a.m. here. And yeah, I think Jambat rescheduled his game. Yeah, you guys can see the Clefable obviously beats the Tren 1 on 1, even the Tren has Protect. He did T wave there predicting um, the Protect from the Tren to save a Moonblast PP. But I don't think it matters at all at this point, as he protected there. 
Er zit hier with the gun predict in the protect. But he got um, parrot on the protect before. He has 12 moonblasts left, so I guess if you get a double protect there. Like, if you get some double protect scene there, it could have been bad, but he gets a crit, so. Yeah, it's GG, he gets another crit. Well, this just speeds up the process. And Merigus has to go for um, Zen Headbutt Flinch or Ice Punch Freeze. He goes for Ice Punch Freeze, he doesn't get it. Moonblast picks off the Metagross. And Bengay just forfeits. I don't know what this means, what he said there. He said FV, I don't know if he's meant Flame Victini or if it's some Spanish word. But yeah, big, uh, shout, big congrats to Porsche for winning Smog Tours 23 finals, 2 and 0 versus Bengay. And yeah, this was a weird the recording because, like, in black and white, I didn't really know what was going on. And they also kept the seeing. And for a few minutes, I recorded, like, the Smog Tours chat too, even though it was more showing, so there was only people, like, getting battles. No one was talking in chat. But yeah, I'm gonna pause it and show you pause shows win post if he makes one in the forums yeah it's really nice to see him win like i said earlier he was in finals last year and he did record with me a bit um he also uploaded he guest uploaded his game i think in quarterfinals was it steve angelo was it quarterfinals one of his games uh, for black and white was steve angelo he guest uploaded that you guys can check that out i'll definitely link that uh, at the end of the video or in the description and yeah, also, yeah, I also recorded some games with him from other people. And yeah, I hope there's not too many World Cup games this night because I won't be able to record. I gotta get sleep. <laughs> like, I've been staying up a lot, but I definitely can't do this every day. Gotta set priorities and... <laughs> yeah, I'm just happy for Porsche. Yeah, let me pause it and we'll see his win pause in the forums. Okay, here we are with Porsche's winner post. I won against Benge in a crazy series. I'm quite happy I could win this tournament after having failed last time. Quite proud of performance so far. I might have made horrible chokes, such as the one I did last round versus Kick Asser. But overall, I think I did well and earned my place in this and earned my place in this tournament. I think he was talking about the Aorith game versus Kick Asser. As for Benge, I know you come off losing two finals in individual tours, and this might suck a lot for you, but don't let this get to you. Don't let this get you. You're a great player, and I completely respect your style, even though it might be a little bit annoying. Hell, so many Ductrios banned that shit already. And yourself as a player, it was a big pleasure to play you. Thank you a lot to all the people who have nicely contributed me. Contributed with my run, that's what I meant to say. I've mostly been laddering with my teams. So, I'll first give a shout out to all the people who I've played on with on the ladder. I met some nice people and insulted some other, but we're all friends, aren't we? ABR, you literally offered yourself to help me when I didn't ask you. That shows how much of a great guy you are. Every time I send you my floor teams, you are always there to fix them all out. It was quite nice to discuss with you about teams and sets. And you also gave me lots of advice for the finals. I couldn't be more grateful, bro. Thanks a lot. Um, we three kings, probably the dude I get along with the most. You've been playing with me ever since I randomly joined Buff. I don't know what this is. Is this a clan? I don't know. Uh, let me know, Porsche, if you see this. And we've been really cool friends from there on the spite. Despite the insult in our endless test matches, I enjoyed talking with you a lot and you've helped me a ton even in the last season. I wish you best of luck in Smog on Classic. Get this money, you're the best dude. Discussing my teams with you was the funniest thing ever. While we talked a lot about IRL stuff, I'm happy you pulled off a 3 0 record in round 1 of World Cup. I did also record Get This Money's, um, I think, first. No, I only recorded the second game of World Cup. I recorded the uh, third game, but I have like four or five games that I have to re-narrate, and I decided at the moment 
that I will not do that because it gets super annoying because the games get outdated and there are like new games at the other day and I miss some games live because I was re-narrating old games so I will focus on live narrating now. Yeah, just some information about my World Cup coverage. Um, yeah, he pulled up a 3-0 World Cup for Germany in Auras, get his money. Even though you play for the memes, you've shown you're such a solo player and if you decide to take this more seriously, you'd be unstoppable. Uh, Blunder, the goat <laughs> you've been cheering me on ever since I was a random like one year ago. You saw potential in me and I'm happy I could finally prove yourself. YouTube Super says on the Blunder 777 what I'm capable of. Thank you a lot for the given help throughout the tournament, mostly in Sun Moon where I'm horseshit building. <laughs> Dice, one of my recent friends. And I can't believe I already like this dude a lot. Talking to you about lots of stuff while also helping me with my black white team in semifinals was quite nice. Metal Sound Zapdos is the. <coughs> I'm not gonna pronounce this. Metal is a goat, um, basically. Know that. Good luck in Smoke and Classic, bro. If you ever need help, just hit me up, you know. BKC, you helped me a lot polishing my black and white team for the finals. Thank you a lot. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's, I know he's Kevin, but I don't know what this Hermano means. I love your videos and also hope you and your band ever decide to visit Spain. I'd be glad to see you guys. I'd be glad to see you guys. I don't know why I pronounced that so weird. Uh, Solent, yeah, because he has a band that's interesting. Solent, he's talking in Spanish, so I will not read that out. If you're Spanish, you can feel free to read it. Um, like over skill, thank you a lot for the help in black and white. You're such a versatile player and it helped me. A ton with all of your ideas. Love you a lot, man. You are the best. And now he's talking about some Spanish players, probably Spanish friends. I know he's friends with Alcans. So, and he's saying something of black and white. And a lot more in Spanish that I don't understand. Some small gun people worth mentioning. Finchinator Chop, Dogridge. Thanks, guy, for. <laughs> thanks, Porsche, for mentioning me. <laughs> Flares, kick as a BDC dog. Wait, they already mentioned me twice. Ooh, special dog word. Ooh. And all the peoples in old T and big chats. Thank you a lot for your support. It means a lot and really motivated me to get in here. Yeah, I know that Porsche has been. Uh, has asked me to like a random Cha Cha song to celebrate. I like his post real quick. Yeah, I'm. I recorded this on the next day, by the way, after the game happened. My net died last night and I really had to get sleep. Yeah, Porsche has been talking to me if I like will get into the tournament scene. Or like multiple people have asked me. And yeah, like I said, I might try next mock draws a bit for fun, but I don't think super serious. Because I still wanna record most of the games live and focus on that. And I also think that I, I still have to learn a lot about it like as a player and In Sun and Moon at the moment. I don't think I'm super good, I'm decent, but I one of my problems is that I just I just use um, too many of the same cores or like mons and then I'm like because I don't want to be weak to certain stuff so I just have struggled to um, find a creative way of building and I just have trouble like getting out of my comfort zone I just build with the same mons most of the time if my team wants to if I want to be confident with the mods that I use, like if I, I'm just confident with a few mods. If I just change it up too much, the team didn't work out too well in testing. And it was like, basically, if I like I use Nihiligo a lot, and if I don't use Nihiligo, basically one of my teams was completely destroyed by that. Why? So basically, just stuff like that. I gotta work on that. I don't use the same stuff over and over again. But yeah, this is. Not about me. Grad Porsche again. I'm uh, really glad to see you win. And I'm pretty sure this was just by accident that he, <laughs> that he mentioned me twice in the end here. But yeah, maybe one day I will be a good enough builder to help some tour players in Sun Moon. That would be pretty cool. I don't see myself making like a big run in tours anytime soon, but helping build someone would be really cool. Uh, but we will see what happens <laughs> and yeah I'll go upload uh, I'll go cut this together now because I pause it in between because there was x-ray game going on and x-ray 1 so pretty cool to see G Team Germany win 
And I didn't also I only record half of it and I decided like I said earlier I won't I won't pre-narrate this re-narrate over these games. It's just too much work. I had like four or five games from the other days and re-narrating these when they're like kinda outdated because they're already a few days old. It's not really worth it. Um I might leave a few replays down below if I don't forget. Yeah, like I said, the black and white narration from Porsche that he g did guest narration on my channel. I'll definitely link that. And thank you guys for watching. And <laughs> yeah, Porsche, you're the goat. And hope you will do well in World Cup. Your games are black and white. I didn't record his first game in World Cup. I'll see if I record some of his games in World Cup. Uh, if I have some people in call that have black and white knowledge because this black and white narration, I know it wasn't the best. I'll leave a comment down below to warn people that the black and white narration isn't that good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And goodbye, we'll see you next time. Dokuch signing out.